Welcome to Insurance is Sexy with Dakota and Terry. Dakota, you think anybody noticed that we recording two shows in a day? Well, see, I put my collar in on this one. <laughs> I'm going to do that too. Yeah, Hold you up. put your collar in. So, so that way they don't, this they don't, like, you oh won't my even God, they don't know outfits. Oh yeah, yeah totally. Totally. Yeah. totally. I didn't even think totally. about that. And the second piece is, is on this show, you look shorter than me. I do? Yes. Well, I, that's not how it goes in real life, but we can be that way in the show. Am I too laid back? Maybe that's what That's what it is. You you more... Oh. The, that first, the, the show before this was a little rough. Because I was... It was rough. It, it was, was rough. Tech, I was uptight during that last show. He was show. uptight. I'm super loose We had all technical issues, but no worries. Storage problems It on the won't phone. happen. Why you say that? And unless... It might happen. <laughs> we don't know. Does, we'll see. Let's just wish happen. for the best. It's going to happen the good way. It's going to happen in a good way. Do you want to yeah. put the disclaimers out there, though? Which which disclaimer? We should probably have like three of them. <laughs> we should have a whole bunch of disclaimers. We should have a whole mess of disclaimers. <laughs> so, if you experience technical difficulties, people, <laughs> stick with us stick. because we're determined to work through them. We're going to work through it. We work right through it. Because you know why? We're going to get it done. Because that's what bothers do. We get it done. That's it. <laughs> that's how we roll. Every dang day. Yeah. I like that part. All right, so yep. we got the typical yep. show. Yep. But based on what I heard in the last episode, yes. we're going to have some guests coming up. You think so, that'll happen in the next episode? Um, Either the next or the next. Or the next. The next or the next after. The, the next or the next. So yes. we'll let you know yes. in the very beginning if we got a surprise guest yes. in the next episode. Yes. But we, scheduling. 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 Yeah. Oh, you know what? See, we filming a commercial next week. Oh. 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 That actually might be the perfect time. It would be, but I'm not here. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So that's going to be a difficulty. Okay. So the week after that. It will be. <laughs> All right. We'll so see. We know what's up, sort yeah, of. You yeah, can yeah. tell how completely rehearsed and practiced this thing is. We, we actually never practiced. <laughs> we never practiced. I have to beg Terry to get his thoughts out of his mind, <laughs> but other than that, it's good. We put them on paper sometimes. Quick, quickly jotting them down, misspelling them, all types of stuff. We try. We was ex cute. That's all I know. <laughs> we we, cute. we were cute, but now we ex cute. Someone used negligence when they were spelling. <laughs> We're not going to name any names. No, no. But their initials dead. are not on their head. No, no, uh, uh-uh, uh, no, no. That's what they're not going to do. It's okay if you were they not about to, they, they, they not about to shame me. It's what they're not about to do. That's what these two not about to do. <laughs> Might have been negligent with a G is all I'm ooh, saying. Ooh. That's all. <laughs> Neglect that. <laughs> That's all right. Dakota, this Dakota's is good water. This such, is good water. such an OG. She took that G straight out the water. Ooh, I like ooh. it. I like it. So, we got the word of the day, people. Yep. We got a little education for you. Yep. We got that leadership lesson. Yes. And we're going to make up a story based on this show. Woo! I don't even know what the story is going to be. We do not know what the story is going to be, honestly. We just don't know. We don't know. Sometimes those are the best stories. They actually are. Sometimes fun, you know, spontaneity. All right. We're not spelling that either. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So we got the word of the day. And it's going to be my turn. Terry took his turn last time, so I get a turn. Yes, ma'am. I think this is a good word because it relates. Um, you know, very heavily on the insurance side, but just in life. I think it's very useful. So we chose negligence. It's the lack of reasonable care that is required to protect others from the unreasonable chance of harm. Ooh. I didn't read that definition the other day. Well, that's a good definition. It is a good definition, but I didn't read that the other day. Let me read it. Yeah, read it again. All right, let's see. The lack of reasonable care that is required to protect others from the unreasonable chance of harm. Mm, unreasonable chance. So, you know what the first thing that I thought of when you were talking about it? What? Texting while driving. Yes. That's some negligent behavior. It is. Reading text, looking at your mail, doing whatever. What we used to see, remember back in the day, and this probably still happened, but people don't drive as much anymore. <laughs> Women be putting makeup on while they're driving. Dudes be eating cereal or shaving or reading a newspaper. Like, come on, people. I think people more so now even eat while driving. Yeah. Because we always on the go. Always we, on the go. We don't think there's enough time for anything. We can't never sit. We unhealthy. I mean, it's just so many reasons that someone would eat and drive at the same time and drink. 
So they're eating and drinking. Who is driving? Got the sandwich in one hand, got the who's big old Coca Cola in the other. Who's driving the automobile? Mm -hmm. My people, who's Don't. doing this? I don't know. I guess they gonna call us after they crash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gee whiz. I hope they just hit themselves at that point. I, I, hope, want, I hope. I want them hitting anybody else, right? Yeah. So don't do that in your car. Don't for do one. that. And I don't really hope you crash. That's not. Yeah, no, 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 we're not. not. We're hoping you don't be negligent. That's the actual exactly. Hope. That's it. I think the I think negligence. Another way that it relates to insurance is that when you actually are the opposite of negligence. When you see the benefits of your insurance, lower premiums, you not actually injuring yourself or injuring someone else. You actually taking safety measures. You are, um, it's, it's another word for it. It's called um, risk mitigation. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what you're doing. At least 74. At least 74. At least 74. At least 74 you're right mitigating there. the risk, the possible risk rather. Because obviously you can't eliminate them all but you are mitigating them to a smaller percentage or occurrence. So that's well, something. I like that. And we talked a little bit about the car, but yeah. you could be negligent around your house or oh. your building if you're yes. a business owner, a building owner too, right? So, yeah. you know, we still, we're still in, well, we're in full spring right now here yes. in Michigan, right? Full spring. Where you think you might be in spring, but you ain't in spring. But it's still, still snow winter. coming. Yeah, it's coming. It's kind of still on your grass mm -hmm. and on your roof. In your gutters, the ice. Yes, that gonna happen that's in there so the, <laughs> if you're not cleaning out your gutters in the fall with all those leaves yes those little ice forms you get the you know your gutters don't drain quite as well if it yep. all piles up in one spot you get an ice yep. patch right in front of your door someone slips falls that's negligent that's neg just in general not shoveling your snow is negligent let me tell you why mm -hmm. you can't get your mail if you don't shovel your snow you, your mailbox is on your porch or your door or something like that the U.S. Postal Service, okay, the government will not come onto your property because you haven't shoveled your snow. They they cannot give you your mail. That's right. So that's that's you know that's what we talking about. Just we want to educate you about doing things that can mitigate the risk. Something not putting that, your dog on a leash. Not putting your dog on a leash. That's a big no no. Like who does that? Little bitty stuff. That's that, that's something you could easily do. It doesn't cost you anything. You know, it's yeah. just a click the leash. Just click the leash. Yeah. But sometimes mitigating risk do cost you money. It might be adding safety features to your homes, like rails. Yeah. Fence. Fence. Mm -hmm. If oh, you have like a, a pool around the pool, you know, a locked gate. Locked gate. Netting around the trampoline. Like only my kids jump on it. If you put a net up with a lock, you'll be sure your kids are the only kids that get on it. Yeah, so, because as soon as you leave, there's yeah. kids bouncing on your trampoline. Exactly. I've owned a trampoline. Yes. That's what happens. That's what happens. Show up at home and all these kids will be like, ah! And then yeah. take off running. And negligence just naturally leads to you being sued. That's what it does. That's it. That's what it does. We trying to get it where you don't have a liability. So lock your gate. Lock your, you know, just lock it up. Now, mind you, you leaving your car running outside of a business while you run in and get a pizza and your daddy sent you up there in a rental car, that's negligence. Ooh, okay. Oh, that sounds like personal experience is what that sounds I'm like. I'm just saying. <laughs> Some people do that. I'm just saying. That's negligence. It's just like, really? Is, is, is that the choice you decided to make? Not a good one. Not a good one. Not a good one. So... It's, it's, ten, it's tons of ways. You know what? And just because of that, I got my story. Oh. I ooh, got my story. I am inspired. Well, you people. are inspired. I am amused. Look at you, inspiring stories out of nowhere. Remember when we was talking about leadership? Inspiring? Yeah. That's what's up. Look at yeah. That's what I do. That's what the lady that's what does. I, that's what I do. Inspire. All day, every day. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. All yeah. right. So... I think we covered negligence yeah. and ideas on how to be less negligent. Yes. Right? Actions you should be taking to prove that out. I Correct. like that. So that's good. So let's move in to the leadership lesson. Okay. All right. I like this. So here's the deal. Okay. I like this. It's three words. Three. Get it done. Yes. And actually, I kind of, I was cool about the it. Mm -hmm. There's a word that I was going to use that was a little longer, but still had the it in it. Right, right, right. Yeah, right, right, but right. I didn't use that word. Because we didn't do that. It's a PG show. It's people. a PG show. We try to keep it clean. Out here. We might get a sponsor one day. We might get a sponsor <laughs> we might. right And they now. might not like that. 
They might not. They might. They, they might. might they might. And I even like the way you reworded it because originally you had said let the leadership um, lesson be avoid procrastination, but then you made it positive. That's that right. was a negative connotation. And I think there's value to that, right? Because yeah. I think we want to keep it positive. We yeah. want to uplift. We want to motivate, right? Yeah. We don't want to demotivate. We don't want to no. put our thumbs on no, people, no, 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 no. right? And that's good leadership too. But ultimately, execution yes. and results is what business is about. You Period. gotta get it done. And I doesn't even I don't know what it is for you, yeah. right? But I know what it is for the team here, right? And there are a certain set of basics that we have to take care of every single day. It's the blocking and tackling. J.W. Marriott, founder of the Marriott Hotel chain, okay. said it best. He said, "Be brilliant on the basics, and customers will tolerate everything else." Hmm. Right? It's a little different, right? All of a sudden you order some fancy, mm. you know, you, if you go to Starbucks and your order for a cup of coffee mm -hmm. is like six sentences long, mm -hmm. you know, half cap, double cap, extra yeah. sugar, no foam, green foam, whatever the case. Soy and milk. Soy milk. <laughs> and someone screws that up and you get mad about that. Yep. That's probably not on them. No, that's on you. That's <laughs> on you, right? You should have wrote it down and slid it to them. <laughs> Right so that down. To work for Marriott. <laughs> did you? Yeah, several years. Yeah, I think I did know that. Yeah, you know, just outside of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. ah, I like that. And up here. And up here too. Yeah. And up here. And up here. Well, when I think about getting it done, the execution and results, I always think about like you saying, like the. It's so funny. I, okay, I'm gonna just tell you about it. Oh well, you got a story, so it's kind of a story, but it's about leadership. Have a story and a story. I know. You can have two. So I was talking to a client the other day. And, you know, actually, she wasn't a client. She was, what do you call it when uh, we share a client? We had, we had a mutual client. She was a, she, was a, she was a third party. She's like a third party. We shared a client. We needed to both do something to get it done. So, anyway, we doing something. And then, like, right, it was very quick. But then, like, she stopped to acknowledge. She was like, you're the best person I ever talked to. And I was like, what? And then she just went into, like, this long, we talked more about her experience than what I actually did. She was like, I couldn't believe you did this. I didn't have to fuss. I didn't have to fight. Like she just went into this long, so the whole time she she talking, you know, she praising me, all right now. The whole time, I'm still doing what I'm doing. I got the phone in my ear, cause I don't like headsets. I don't know why. I don't, I don't like headsets. I just can't. I do old school, either you on speakerphone, everybody gonna hear what we talking about, and then I, I gotta get in detail. Okay, what you talking about? So, got that up here, doing this. So the whole time, I'm just listening, listening, listening. But I'm doing everything. Because most of the time when you call someone, you think it will get done at a later time when we can get to it. So the whole time. So then I've literally done what she wanted. The whole time she's still talking. And she's like, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You did what I said. Like, like she just, and then she just kept going on and on. And it was just, our conversation went like totally left. I think we started talking about the company that she worked with. Me, with She asked me how long I worked here. I told her we was hiring people. Then she said, can I talk to the manager? I said, you're speaking to her, baby. You're speaking <laughs> to her, right? So then she busts out laughing. And she like, oh, my God. She was like, I just hope, you know, everybody else, and, you know, she was just going on. She just went on. She said, well, what about Phil Klein? I said, well, you was on speakerphone the whole time. He heard you. He said, right next door to me. Right. So then the lady just laughed at me. So I can really tell that she was accustomed to things not getting done. She literally thought it was going to be this battle just to get something that was so simple. It was for the client. And I guess in the past, if she's asked for this before, maybe it was like pulling teeth to her. So she was just so appreciative. I think I just, I think I pleasantly surprised her. She was surprised, but she was pleasantly surprised. Mm -hmm. Like she was just whole. So like you said, the result at the end of the day, what she called for, I got it done. It was not a big deal. I, you know, and it was just, it was just nice, you know, for her to, I, I was, I was, I like that she felt that way. I, to me, it was nothing out of the ordinary. It was like any other like okay business as usual. i don't like to make people wait for things yeah. because i don't want to wait for things you that's know? right and i don't want to feel like people think yeah. i forgot them you know yeah i mean it was just something really small but it it felt good that she felt good to me i didn't do anything special 
for her in that instance that I haven't done two two thousand other times. Mm-hmm. The same way. The, you know, it wasn't special to her, but what made me feel good is that she felt special. I like that story. Yeah. I like that story. She felt special. And it's amazing to me, like, I do a lot of public speaking, and I'm going to be honest, I'm reasonably funny, right? I'm funny. I'm not super funny, but I'm funny. <laughs> but when I'm out speaking, mm-hmm. I'm like the funniest dude people see because the really? bar for business presentation comedy yes. is very low. Yes. Right? And it seems as though the bar for proper customer service and customer experience oh. is very low yes. these days. Uh-huh. So just handling your business seems like it's a highlight of a day for certain people. Yeah. We need to do better. We and you know what? I mean, we have an incredible team here yes. who really does care about what they're doing. And I hear that all the time. Like, yeah, yeah I hear it all the time. Like, oh, Oh my God! Thank you so much. You you have been so nice to me, and you've yeah. been so. And I'm like, I just it's just it's my job. That's why yeah. I'm here. I am here to help you. Yeah. You know. So I, I I'm happy to that. do it. When it I answer my the pleasure. phone, I actually say that. When I answer the phone, I'd be like, you know, good afternoon, good morning. I say, good afternoon. Thank you for calling the Phil Klein Insurance Group. This is Dakota. How may I be of service to you? That's it. That's how I answer the phone That's it. every time. And the other times, I'd be like, that's not for me. <laughs> I, keep, I need that keep working. <laughs> so, yeah, it's good. Um, but what do you think? Well, what was the story you was going to say about getting it done? Well, I wasn't going to tell a story about getting it done. I was going to tell a story about mm-hmm. negligence. Oh. Well, I'm going I'm to kick yeah. it back to the word of the day. Oh, okay. Let's go. I'm going to kick go. it back to the word okay, of the day. Do I need my calculator? You might need to punch okay. up some numbers. Should we talk okay. about the eyebrows? <laughs> What he not going to do. Okay, I have a hat on today. And what he not going to do is talk about my eyebrows. Oh. My daughter feels that I am obsessed with my eyebrows. Which, after looking back at photos and like over the years, I actually am. At the moment, you can't tell. Because the lady at the place. <clears throat> she didn't calculate your eyebrows properly. She, she didn't calculate it right. And then how, you know, how, how, how I went, it, it, she didn't calculate it right. So we're just going to leave that at that. But... The hat won't be available next time. It, it won't be here. It won't be making a guest. You know, this is just a guest appearance. Okay. This is the first guest. It's, 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 <laughs> this PKIG hat is the first guest. We don't, welcome, PKIG. Welcome. <laughs> oh, well, I just figured out our pod's face now, too. So that's fantastic. All okay. right. I'm ready for this story. It's, uh, is it funny? It's um, well, negligence usually is not funny. Is no, it? I was gonna say <laughs> it usually is a tragedy. I don't feel like how okay. I could. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. But it was a heck of a lesson. Okay, let's it see. It was a heck of a lesson for you or somebody else. A me. Okay, for me, a young, Ooh. a very young. So a, 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 another version of Terry. A much younger. All right, yes. I got it. I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready. A much less uh, other. Oh, back focus. from when you used to dress like Crockett and Tubbs. Yeah, uh, or we, way, yes. <laughs> yeah, actually, more <laughs> when you thought he was Prince. Which <laughs> one? Was, Which one was? I want to look like Prince Tubbs at that time. <laughs> okay. I'm not even All right. sure. Okay. Uh, okay. So when I was okay. in high school, my okay. junior senior year in high school, maybe Ooh, sophomore yo, year too, Terry. I was delivering pizza. Okay. Right? It was a great job yeah. for a 16 year old. I could play my music way too loud. I could do stupid stuff in the car, mm-hmm. be negligent while I was driving around with somebody's big pizza triangle sign on the roof. And because I was delivering pizza, mm-hmm. uh, you'd end up at a lot of apartment buildings. Yes. And so when you get to an apartment building, oftentimes the spot that's closest to the door, because you're trying to run in and run back out. Mm. Is a handicapped spot. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Ooh. So it was mm. nothing for 16 year old Terry to pull up into the handicapped spot, mm. leave his car running. Believe me, ain't nobody trying to take little oh, Terry's no, car. Oh, lady, didn't that fall wasn't trying a to thing. mess with you. That, oh, wasn't, that wasn't a thing. But so, as fate would have it, one day mm. I pop in. And the nice thing about apartment buildings that are larger, mm-hmm. they normally have more than one handicapped spot, right? Yes. So, one day, I park in the left handicap spot. I run in. I deliver my little pizza. Mm-hmm. I get my forty-eight cent tip or whatever it was <laughs> back then. I'm so mad. Cent. We're paying people like four or five dollars to deliver quarters. food right they, they now. Two quarters. Yeah, listen, and I was happy because the last person probably gave me a nickel. Um, <laughs> but I come 
bouncing back down the stairs, my music. Mm -hmm. And it loud. It doesn't sound like deep house chill. It didn't know. (laughs) It didn't sound like music when I did it either, but thank you for saying that. Um, So I hop in my car Mm -hmm. or hop to the car door. Mm -hmm. And as I'm doing it, I look over at the handicapped spot across the sidewalk. Okay. And I'm watching this little old lady Mm. be put in the handicap wheelchair that she had and she's looking at me like I'm the biggest jerk on the planet. It's the first time I ever wanted to cuss on the show. Uh, this is the first time. I've... Really? <laughs> yeah. Should we edit it? What? No. I want to hear what she got to say. <laughs> so, I, I will, we'll catch you that in a second. You know, in that moment, mm-hmm. I felt like the biggest jerk on the planet. Mm-hmm. And from that moment on, I have never parked in a handicapped spot again. I would go to the store and I would park to the left of the handicapped spot, like in the street, <laughs> like in the driveway. But I would not take he that illegally park. spot. I would park, yeah. I would park closer than the handicapped people. But that, oh, that messed me up. That. Yeah, and it was my negligence, like mm. not thinking about other people. Mm. And what would happen if I would have gotten into that apartment and somebody would have parked in that spot, and then that little lady and whoever was driving her would have shown up, uh, you know, 19 seconds later, and yeah. my big boom boxy car would have been in her way. Yeah. That bummed me out, and it Aww. stuck with me to this day. So a person may, you know, I guess what I'm trying to say. I have a similar story, but mine was financial. It impacted me financially. It wasn't a person. So you learned your lesson from someone else that was impacted by your negligence. That's right. I learned my same lesson, people, parking in the handicap. The day of my graduation, going to pick my cake up. Who mama send them to pick their own graduation cake up? I don't know, but the grammar police did. <laughs> so I go get this cake. Same thing. No parking spaces. A huge cake. I should have pulled up to the door. I don't. Pull into the handicapped space, go get my cake, come back out. Guess what I got? A two hundred and fifty dollar parking ticket. Two fifty uh, uh-huh. on my graduation. Oh, that's Man. it. There goes some of that graduation money you just and got. And never parked in another handicapped space. Man. And literally, I didn't even realize it was a handicapped space because you know, like now, the first space actually does say for delivery, for pickup, and I'm pretty sure that got developed over time. You know, because sure. that's what people do. If you're picking up something that's so heavy, why would I park so far away? Especially something that's I mean, the cake is huge. Yeah. I should have just parked by the door. Too fitty. Too fitty. <laughs> Man, I, I couldn't believe that. Man. Oh, I have. Oh, wait. No, I don't. I've never been that callous. <laughs> <laughs> Jane is <laughs> not negligent <laughs> like Terry <laughs> is. She only cares about Ooh, others. She, she cares. She's had to learn the hard way to read it. Uh, no, honestly, you know what? I've never in my life parked in a handicapped space, not even for a second. And it's, all, no, it's not because only. it like I have like some. I just I'm just I, I'm afraid of the law. No, <laughs> in, in my little defense, I literally didn't even realize that that was a handicapped space. I didn't even realize that I had a ticket. My ticket stayed on my car until I got where I was. <laughs> and and my mind was just like blown. Cause like later on that day or whatever, I'm like, I'm looking like, how do you get a parking ticket? I pulled it up and you know, it always show you where you got it from. Mm-hmm. I was in tears. Cause as a kid, I was kind of a crybaby. Oh, okay. Like if I did something wrong, I was always crying. Really? If I did something wrong. I don't like the side of you, Dakota. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, like, seriously, like, if I did something wrong. It bothered you to do something wrong. Like, yeah, yeah. I just, yeah. It, it, it just made me sad. And I was just like, I couldn't believe this crap. I was like, 250 in this graduation Soft line. Soft kitty, pretty kitty stuff. Soft kitty, pretty kitty. Uh, but see, nah. You know, oh, gee. I don't play that. <laughs> yeah, I don't play that. A whole different, you, I don't play whole that. different Dakota right there. Exactly. 
I went to go that was the that was the old version. That was a defining moment in your life. I, I got that together. I once got a ticket for running a red light in front of a fire station. There oh. you go. Does that make you feel better? I was late. For That's a... bad. Oh, it is bad. Yeah. You can't and, well, do that. And, and the reason that I ran the light was because this person in front of me had been going 35 miles an hour all the way mm -hmm. down Square Lake Road. I mean, like mad. the, the, the faster part of Square, Square Lake Road. And I needed to go. I was on my way to work. I used to work night shift at Marriott. I was on my <laughs> way to work. And I got to get there. And they're just taking forever. And here comes this, here comes the light. It's mm -hmm. green, green. It starts to turn, like it just turned yellow. And they stop. And I'm like, no. So I, you go around. I go around oh, them. And then, yes. 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 It was a I don't think there was going to be a cop I'm going right to tell y'all right now, Kiko Harbor don't play. <laughs> Kiko Harbor don't play. This was actually Bloomfield Hills. Bloomfield Hills. Look at her. Got her. But, <laughs> yeah, they got me. And that they was 125 bucks. Jamie. And, um. That's a lot of Marriott. Did you get any tips out of Well, that's the thing is it is. And I had just started that job and I didn't have any money. What? This is too much for me. so much. So Jamie just as bad as them people that don't pull over for ambulances and oh no no no, no. I don't, that and, and those people that don't stop for school buses <laughs> like Jamie Jamie in that category no, now now there was no traffic it was eleven o'clock at night how did I know I'll tell you this though in what? the south we pull over for funerals and I don't ever see anybody do that up here. no because um here they have it where they have the right of way as if it was an emergency vehicle. The yeah. whole line. Yeah. Not, I mean, just, not just the we, first person. But we have to pull over for them. Like, we down... Most and, people do. I have never I seen anybody. No, no, no. I don't stop driving. I get out the way. Oh, no. Well, we always, like, pull over. Oh, so, like, you like, like real... Like, if it was a... Like, if it was a cop or an ambulance yeah, or whatever. Yeah, you actually mm. stop And I almost... Oh, wow. I, when I first moved up here, I did that. And Brian's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, it's a funeral. And he's like... maybe... Go on. Maybe a lot of people don't die in the South. Yeah. a lot of funerals in the South? Yes. Oh, maybe, maybe it's not that many. Well, I went to six in one year one time. Oh. Personal record. But yeah. anyway, oh, he's just, it was hilarious. Though, he's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, it's a funeral. And he's like, so they're not in a hurry. They're dead. <laughs> the people that are sitting there are like, come on, people. We've got exactly. stuff to do. All right. All right. Speaking of stuff we got to do, okay. we got to cut this out. Yeah, we got to get we out gotta of We got to be done because you know what? That little buzzer is about to buzz. It's and about to go. We're going to stop it now because we know. We're good. Yeah, We're good. We're good. So, you know what? We're talking about the eyebrows, which led no. to the hat. No, no. No, we ain't talking about that. Oh. We're going to just tip our hat oh, to the okay. audience. Oh, okay. 